Gil here with the Sailing Vessel Dream Chaser, and in today's episode, I'm going to actually be um, splicing a three-stranded um, rope to a anchor chain. Um, as you know, we've been working on the teak decks, and um, before I actually started doing all of the teak, I pulled all the anchor out, anchor chain out of the anchor locker, and um, I splayed it out on deck in about six feet, uh, six foot long sections back and forth. Um, there's a lot of chain up there. It's got to be. Got to be 500 pounds of chain sitting on the deck. All right, as we get started, here's what we ultimately need to do this. Obviously, we have our chain. We have our three-quarter inch, three-strand rope. We have a knife to cut it. We have a lighter to um, burn the edges to keep it from unraveling. And this. We have a small spicing, uh, splicing fid. And what is that, McKinley? I don't know. Oh, we have one of those, and that is very important. It's good. Also, went ahead and have a pair of vice grips, needle nose, whatever. Just in the event I need to pull the line through with something a little uh, harder to pull. So there we go. Uh, do us a favor, please hit the like button. Uh, your bottom right. I never know if I'm pointing the right way or if it's backwards. So your bottom right, whichever side that is when you're looking at it. Um, Go ahead and click the thumbs up and do please subscribe to our channel. We're uh, 850 or so subscribers. Really looking forward to try and get to a thousand. So if you can help us get there by sending it to friends or encouraging somebody that you think would like the video to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. Thanks everybody. Hope you enjoy the episode. All right. well, we're going to start by unraveling a section of this. You can see somebody's already wrapped it. I'm going to do the same here. We want to make sure of is that we um, have a good edge here. So I'm going to reuse a little bit of this tape. Basically, I'm just going to wrap this tightly to keep it from fraying. In a moment, you'll notice I'm also going to try and run this up to almost a point. It'll help us as we're trying to splice it into the, uh, in the braids. the next here. I'm just going up to a form a point and then coming back nice angle. And I want to I want to have my um, tape going from the tip down because as I push through things I don't want it to pull right off of there. Since I didn't have enough of the electrical tape I'm going to use some of this for the next section. kind of forming this into a point one end and I'm going to start coming back the other way with it. By the way, it's a little harder to use wide tape like this. It's a little messier. I want to label these one, two, and three. And this will help me. Brought me a Sharpie. My blue is going to be a two. I'm going to make one of these number one. In order to do it, I'm just going to put a stripe on the one that is labeled as number one. So now I know my coding. Black tape with single stripe is one, blue is two my center, and the one with nothing is going to be number three. What I want to do is I want to unravel five to seven strands of this. And honestly, I'd rather have a little extra than not, so You'll notice we have this splayed out now. Again, number one has my single line. Two is the blue. Three. Three is the one with no markings. So as I mentioned, we want to we want to lay this right here where we actually want to do the splice. I'm going to start with two of them on one side and one on the other. Take this middle one here. What you're looking at is me actually reading this, and we're going to go together on this thing. So we're going to take this one, and we're going to run it from the back forward, and we're going to start with number two as we do that. 
whatever direction we pass strand two in, we want both one and three to go the opposite way. So since strand two went from the back to the front, we're gonna do these from the front to the back. <laughs> so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my tape off of here. What is what? That's a spider web. It won't hurt you. An over one, under one pattern. So now I want to actually go over this strand and into the next one. So just that. pulling these nice and tight. Now in order to do this I want to turn this over again. Very similarly, we're going to do the same thing. We want to go over, you notice we're going to go over this one and into the next one. this is good and tight so I'm going to start with number one which is the first one I put in there pull number three down tight repeat now go back to number one and every time it's over and under so I'm going to go over that one and do this one Give these things a good tight pull and keep it shaped the way you want. Man, fids really make this a lot easier. It's certainly possible without it, but for six bucks or whatever it is, well worth it. you have it through there and you can a bit of a pull make sure you get it falling in the same direction as the lay of the line or right at the twist doing this really pry it a little bit loose change patterns. So I just did one, two, three. Now I'm going to skip one because I want to start getting this a little bit narrower. I'm going to go right to number two. Do the same thing though. I'm going to skip over one line and under the next. Just like we've been doing. Pull number two in. Remember 
that's number one. We don't want to do anything with that. We're going to go do number three. We'll make sure we do have number three, not number one. And you can see number one's still long because we stopped sooner than the rest. Up with number one, we did two, three, and we're not going to do number two. We're going to come back and we're going to do number three again. And what we're really doing is we're going to get these lining up as they come through here so it gets thinner. Over that one and under this one, just like we've been doing. Those ropes get a lot tighter too, which is a good problem. Uh, good splice. This is where a push stick would be handy, but I'm just going to widen it a little bit here. We have a long one. We stopped number one, we did then we braided two, three, we stopped number two, and then we just braided three. The idea is it's from a thinner and it slowly gets thicker. This is just gonna burn this edge. What we want to do is essentially melt these uh, fibers together so that they don't unravel. What the braid looks like. Um, you can see it's uh, thicker here and it tapers down into the three quarter inch line. Um, right here we basically just burned these edges a little bit so that they won't slide back through there. So you can see it's kind of all held together. I like the way this joint looks best. It's kind of worked its way down in there. I think that'll work well, but I like it. I think it looks pretty good. And as a close up, let me just kind of show you what this looks like. You can kind of see here how it's braided all the way through. And looks good. On the back side. So that'll work. This will give us an extra 150, maybe 200 foot of road I'm going to put down in the in the anchor locker. Alright, so there we have it. We've got our braid. And um, well, now we'll start loading this stuff into the anchor locker. there because it, it can't spill on the iPad okay you're drinking out of a big girl cup so you got to keep it on that white table I don't think it's gonna fit in there baby it's not gonna fit in there you got to put it put it on that table put it right over there see here <gasps> oh. <laughs> you playing that like a bugle oh. <laughs> chain back down below. McKinley, please stop putting that there. No, sit, no. <laughs> it's a great song. Do, do, do. Do. <laughs> I had all the time, this was white as snow. Did you see it? Fish eat it? I'm Batman. And we're going to, um. I don't know what the f we're gonna do. We'd love it if you click the subscribe button and like this video. Please share it with your friends.